Okay, got my breakfast here, so let's start the day. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I'm so excited to be doing Vlogmas this year. It's my first time doing it, so forgive me if I'm terrible at this. I'm still learning the ropes, I'm learning the reins. Well, actually, that's not true. I've been doing Vlogmas now for a couple years now. I just would film the videos and never got around to editing or posting any of them so it's almost like I never did them. You're probably all new to my channel, you never seen me before. Well I mean I've only posted a couple of videos so yeah everyone's new to my channel at this point but welcome. I hope you guys stay, I hope you guys subscribe, I hope you guys like me. But yeah I'm gonna force myself to edit and post these videos because for once I actually live in my own apartment. I just recently moved a couple weeks ago, so forgive me, it's really messy, it's really disorganized, I'm still buying furniture, I'm still getting a lot of furniture in, so things are all over the place, it's a little hectic, like stuff like everywhere still, but that means a lot of content, a lot of me buying stuff, a lot of me organizing stuff, so stay tuned for those, and yeah. I really don't know what to film at the moment. It's kind of hard because with COVID and everything, right now my city's in lockdown, so I can't really go anywhere. So that means me filming essentially from my apartment. Um, I think I'm gonna finish editing my photo for Instagram so I can post it later today. Check out my Instagram, plug, plug, plug. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing my photos. And yeah, I'm gonna head to work. like work because I have a day job so I'm gonna check in virtually and do work for a couple hours and then we'll check in with you guys in a little bit so it's much later now as you can see it's a lot darker it's actually like nighttime outside right now but it's actually not that late it's only like 4 35 p.m. but the sun sets here at like 3 30 so yeah I just finished work I am about to get dressed and I'm gonna go do some grocery and today is the only nice day that we've had in a little bit because it's been either like super cold or super snowy and I don't want to go out during those days so I'm gonna go today when I have the chance because who knows what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow because I live in Canada. Oh I almost forgot that I also need to pick up a couple of packages at the concierge so let's go do that and I'll unbox what I got. Okay, so I lied guys, it's a fucking freezing. Oh my god. I thought it was actually warm because it said it's six degrees, but it's so cold right now and I am not prepared. I did not wear enough clothes or my hat or gloves. So I think I'm gonna go home and grab that because I am so cold right now. I stepped out for a couple minutes and I'm so cold I had to run back home to de thaw because my hands are like red and my nose is like bright red I don't know if you guys can tell but I can't feel my hands right now so I didn't get to go grocery shopping I'm gonna go open up my packages warm up a bit and then run back out when I'm more appropriately dressed to be honest I don't even really remember what it is that I got because I've been doing a lot of online shopping a lot of shopping for the house a lot of shopping for myself a lot of Christmas shopping for my friends and family things are coming in at all different times because of COVID and everything everything's backed up who knows when things are coming in when they say they're gonna come in or when they don't come in I don't even know okay so the first package is from Lee Valley Tools and to be honest I've never heard of this place before I was just online I was browsing around looking for Christmas presents for people and I came across this site this year I told myself that I was gonna buy more like useful gifts rather than like these small items especially since it was gonna be hard to ship and stuff like that I think I know what it is if I recall correctly so I was looking for like gadgets and like things that are useful and that way they don't sit in a corner and collect dust because that's the one thing I was trying to do this year was to get rid of unnecessary things that take up clutter and you know sit in the corner not being used so I figured my friends would appreciate the same but I ramble on so let's open this up I also got a couple other things for myself I was just on the cusp of free shipping so then I started browsing and you know one thing leads to another and then next thing I know I had a whole cart full so debating if I should show you guys what I got from my friends because it's the coolest thing but then I'm kind of afraid my friend might see it and then might ruin the surprise so Maybe I'll film it and then show you guys later and compile all the gifts I got from my friends. Ugh, why am I struggling? Okay. I'm 
surprised it came so quickly because I was kind of skeptical. I did know how this website was to be honest because they had literally no reviews. None of the products had any reviews. So I was hoping please don't be a scam <laughs> and take my credit card. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be but this is actually the gift that I got my friend. Okay, so next I got this. You might be wondering what is that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know. It looks like an eyeball, doesn't it? But essentially, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to open it up. So essentially, this clips onto your bag or your jacket, zipper or something like that. And it's a little big container for your bags. So, so you put like a bag in here and then it compacts in like that. And then that way you have a bag on you at all times uh, because the one thing I've been trying to do is be more environmentally conscious. I mean, I always was, but I always find that whenever I run out, I keep forgetting to bring a bag with me. I'm going out to buy a couple things, but then end up buying a lot more than what I intended. So I didn't bring a bag, obviously. And then now I have to buy a bag because I bought too many things. <laughs> at least this way, at least this way, I have one on hand at all times. So yeah, that that'll be nice. This way it doesn't take up space in my purse either. I don't even bring a purse these days anymore. I just run out with my credit card, my keys, and my phone. So I bought another one. I think I'm gonna give this to my friend because they're sort of the same way and they might appreciate it. Also, I got this pocket laundry soap and it's really small and really compact. I bought this one for myself. So Pre-COVID, I was doing a lot of traveling and I was doing a lot of like light traveling. So I would just bring literally a day pack and pack a weekend's worth of stuff because I would just go on a trip for the entire weekend and then come back like Sunday, Monday. I wanted to buy a lot of small compact things where the less space, the better. So I got down this huge rabbit hole of the compact travel gear, stuff like that. And oh my God, what a world it opened. Holy moly, it has changed my life and the amount of things I need to bring on a trip. And it has saved me so much space. So there are these little, right, let me grab one. This is laundry detergent in paper form. The thing I realize is a lot of times when I'm going to Airbnbs and stuff, I want to wash my clothes, but I don't want to bring like pods or detergents because it's liquid. So it caps towards your liquid stuff and takes up a lot of space and it's heavy. So this way, I have them on hand all the time. Is put like maybe a strip or two in. I don't know what the correct ratio is. I have to kind of experiment and figure that out. But then yeah, I can just carry this around, pop it in with my laundry, and it doesn't take up any really any space. I might buy this for my friends too who love traveling. So I'll see how I like that. Next, I also got this right here. It looks like giant metal pill, doesn't it? Well. Kind of is. Whoops. Kind of is. Uh, I hate that sound. Uh, but essentially, yeah, it's a container. So I bought this because a lot of times I want to carry like an Advil or Tylenol with me and have it in my purse or on my body in case in case um, so this way I can carry a couple pills in there and then yeah it has this like little hanger thing so I can hang this on a jacket or my purse or something like that and then it's also seal proof so no moisture no air no water can get in maybe I should have bought the smaller one but then I feel like the smaller one probably wouldn't fit anything in there it is a little bigger than I want it um, whatever it's fine um, I feel like I thought I got more things but lastly, I got this right here. I know it doesn't look like much. I want to say a pill container, travel container. A lot of the stuff I bought were all like for travel stuff, even though I can't travel right now. But yeah, so this is the inside when you open up. It's supposedly waterproof, seal proof, or whatever like that. But it has like different components. Different, different compartments so you can put stuff in there. I was thinking maybe I could put some pills or like, I don't know, my rings, jewelry, stuff like that. A few Q-tips or maybe like it'll be like my medic bag or something like that. The website was really cool. They had a lot of like different tech, a lot of travel stuff, everything for every kind of 
category um i don't want to buy too much because i've been spending a lot of money especially since i moved to my new place most of the stuff was for me which i shouldn't be doing i should be shopping for other people so the total it wasn't too expensive all the small stuff was pretty cheap actually the biggest thing that cost the most was the skip obviously oh, okay so this big one i think i know what it is it's not really a gift or package it was a replacement part for this ikea piece that i accidentally broke when i was building it was for my bookcase so it's nothing really really special now i can at least finish building my ikea bookcase because i've been waiting on this forever and it's been sitting there waiting to be built okay so i also bought a couple things from amazon this is for the house so i'm super excited oh. so the first one is this Wait, let me just take it out Okay. So I really needed a nice coaster set and I was looking around and the problem is I really wanted something that was like nice and sleek and modern, marble, that kind of deal. Because I bought a whole bunch of like really nice furniture and stuff like that. But I was carrying around my tea mug everywhere and I was spilling all over the place because little me likes to fill it out all the way to the rim. So I needed a coaster set, but the problem is a lot of them are all like flat. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a coaster because it'll just kind of spill off of it. I'm so clumsy and I keep hitting the table and my tea keeps spilling everywhere. So I wanted... Okay, I'm just like rambling on. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But yeah, so I got... Okay, well, this isn't the coaster, but this is the coaster. So I was looking for something with like a rim to it. So when I did spill something on it, it would stay on the coaster. Um, although this is kind of a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I feel like this is almost the size of like my mug and wouldn't do too much, to be honest. Um, maybe I should have bought like cup saucers instead because then at least it holds the cup and then contains all the stuff they spill out of it. It is really cute and really pretty though, have to say. It's this nice beautiful marble and then it has this felt pad so you know it won't ruin your furniture and won't slip. This is the coaster holder. And you can essentially put that in there. It's beautiful. It's really heavy. It comes in a pack of six. Six. It comes in a pack of six. So that's really nice. It was expensive. It was a lot more expensive than I wanted to buy. But I think it's pretty worth it. It's really nice. And I'll still use these. I think for my everyday use, I'll probably buy a saucer. And this is more for like guests when they come over. So it will look really nice and bougie. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that word. I've been really into it. I think it's because my sister keeps using it a lot and I've been watching a lot of YouTubers use it a lot. So that was rubbing off on me. <laughs> I never used to say that word before. But yeah, super excited about that. Man, this video is gonna be so long. Next, I got these spoons. Yeah, you know, like, so exciting. But when you're my age and you're an adult and you get your own place for the first time, honestly, this stuff will excite you. Just being to buy like beautiful cutlery and getting like beautiful furniture and you know, all that stuff and like bedding, like it's super exciting. I know, I sound so lame, right? For all you kids out there watching, you're probably like, ugh, like I don't wanna become an adult, but for all those around my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like the most exciting thing in your life. I know, so sad. What's more exciting during COVID right now, right? They are these nice, beautiful stainless steel spoons. Um, I went to a bunch of stores before we went into lockdown trying to find these kind of spoons that are like regular sized spoons. You know, they never heard of these long spoons before. And honestly, if you haven't either, it's a life changer. Especially if you work, drink a lot of tea, coffee or anything like that, having something like this is amazing because you can stir your tea you can eat ice cream out of this when like you know you have a pint and stuff like that you never get your hands dirty anymore like whoa and yeah it's just it's just amazing and this is a really small spoon so you can get into like yogurts and stuff too or like even stir your iced tea i don't know i'm 
I don't know. I had one that my mom gave me and then I've been looking everywhere for more because I've been using that one and I realized I needed more and I can't find them anywhere. So I went on Amazon and got these. But yeah, I really like how they look. Especially like this round tip and they're not like too big because I know it's a lot of spoons these days. They're like really, really heavy. They're like thick. Like thick. To the point where I feel like I can knock someone out and probably give them a concussion. But next, I got this thingy majiggy here. You're like, what is that? Essentially, let me show you guys. You slide this under your cabinet and then you can put. Just gonna do this. You put your paper towel in here and it has the stopper right here so it doesn't slide out and then you can slide this underneath your cabinet and then you have a nice paper towel roll holder that's out of the way yeah at least then this way i don't have to keep it on top of my hood and they also come with like this plate so if you really want to you can like secure it like underneath the cabinets like that and then it's out of the way next i got this tie and belt rack but what a amazing contraption i've never heard about that i'm so glad it's now in my life it looks like this and if you have these shelving units you can essentially clip this underneath and then it slides out like almost like a trombone 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 and clip this on the underside of your shelving unit and then you slide this out to have easy access to all your like belts and scarves and whatever you want to tie on there I don't know tank tops and stuff like that a huge space saver to be honest and then you can slide it back in so it's discreet I'm enjoying this so much because then you can like see it all and then yeah like, what an amazing contraption I've never heard about. I feel like I need to buy a friend's this because I think they're going to love this too. So I can't wait to put that. I think I'm going to put my scarves on here because I don't really have any belts and stuff. But we'll see. So that's pretty much it for now. I am warmed up now. So I'm going to go do some groceries, take you guys along with me. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of hauls and me shopping throughout the month. So stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, let's go! So you know how I said that I broke one of the pieces of my bookcase and I couldn't finish building it? Well, that piece came in today, finally, so I could finish building it. I broke this giant long piece right here, where it attaches to this other small piece right there, so I broke it right at this part. Essentially, I couldn't build the fourth panel or whatever. You think I'd be excited about the actual piece, but no, look at this bubble wrap. This is my thumb and look at each of these bubbles. Like, oh my God, it's humongous. This is gonna be so satisfying to pop. Can I want you pop? It kind of really sounded like when I popped my bubble tea lid with the straw earlier. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Now I can finally finish building my bookcase. The one downfall about living in a condo is the fact that you have to bring down all this recycling now by hand to the recycling area. Especially when you do a lot of shopping and moving in for the first time, you have a lot of boxes, a lot of furniture boxes that you have to bring down. And yeah, I'm struggling. I keep dropping everything. And just as I say that, I've like dropped everything on the ground. <laughs> Okay, question of the day. Is there anyone else out there who is paranoid me where they think that someone is gonna get their address, get their phone number from all the packaging that we buy because all the slips that you get when it ships to your house, it has your information on there. I've always wondered if someone can go through the garbage, the recycling, whatever, get your information. A lot of times I like wipe it out with like a black sharpie or like a rip off the shipping tags and stuff but like it has a lot of your information on there like all the information is on the barcodes and stuff too so i don't know let me know down in the comments below if i'm just being paranoid or if it's actually legit like people actually do that i feel like that must be a thing is all digitally stored so 
what's not stopping people from doing? I really hope I didn't put that idea out there and that someone's gonna take it now, but I feel like if I thought about it, someone else probably has already. Oh, look how pretty. So festive. Also, the one good thing about these masks is that it definitely keeps my face warm. So that's definitely a plus. But for all you glasses wearers out there, you probably understand my feel. I cannot see a single thing now because my glasses are so fogged up and I don't know if you guys can even hear me right now through the mask. The struggles. I have to say though right now, it is a lot warmer than when I was out earlier. I don't know if it's me because I'm more bundled up now and I'm a lot warmer or if it's because the wind has finally died down and it's now less cold. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna be freezing. <laughs> yep, I was right. I definitely am starting to feel it now. It's getting really cold. It was only because I was super warm, so I didn't feel at the time, but... Why do I live in Toronto again? I should have just gone somewhere warm where it's nice and toasty right now. So of course I had to get bubble tea because it's my favorite and I'm obsessed so got some. I stopped by and got some, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Okay, I wasn't sure if you guys heard me in the last clip but I stopped by and got some milk pudding since I was right in the area getting bubble tea. So let's go get some groceries. I know I've been saying this for like the last like 10 hundred times that I'm gonna go get groceries but now I'm gonna go get groceries. I'm not gonna film too much while I'm in the groceries because I just wanna go in it now. I wanna limit the time I'm inside the store because I don't wanna get COVID and stuff, you know? And plus, a lot of people don't really know what vlogging is or feel weird about being filmed. So yeah, let's do that really quickly and I'll, I'll show you guys what I get afterwards. Okay, I've been struggling to open this bag for the last like five minutes because normally I would lick my hands, but I can't lick my hands. Okay, I finally got it opened after struggling for so long. Okay, so I'm getting some guac. So should I get some cookies or should I be good and ooh. no it should be good I should be good oh my god guys look how cute those are look at that little Saint hat and his body oh there's a snowman oh look how cute and festive those are look there's like Mr. Grinch the cute decorating ideas oh my god guys so this is definitely new I've never seen this before it's limited time as it says on the top should I try it or should I not? <sighs> Anyone out there where they feel... Uh, sorry, you guys probably can't hear me. I was saying that anybody out there where they feel like they can't breathe after wearing a mask inside for so long and the moment you come outside you're like, <gasps> Oh, fresh air! <laughs> well, that's how I feel every single time. But I don't know why I always do this. I always end up... Uh, buy way too much and I'm holding like a million things and everything's like falling out of my bag um, because I didn't bring enough bags because I didn't anticipate to buy as much as I do but every single time I always buy way too much you think I learned my lesson have yet to learn it I'm gonna hurry on home because this is heavy and I can't really hold everything in one arm and also vlog so I'm gonna show you guys what it gets when I get home <coughs> Oh, I almost forgot how to talk. I feel like I lost my voice. But I'm back home now. Uh, let me do a grocery haul real quick because this vlog is getting pretty long as it is. Of course, I got my bubble tea and my milk pudding. I also got oat milk because your girl is lactose intolerant. I also got some almond croissants because I freaking love almond flavored things. I don't know why that is, but yeah. If you never tried almond croissants, so good. I also came and got two cupcakes. These are so delicious. They're not too sweet, which is what I really like because I find like a lot of cupcakes are way too sweet for me. But yeah, like this is like barely anything, but it's very chocolatey, so I like that. Um, I also got some sliced mushrooms, some pre-made guac, and some grape tomatoes. I already had a lot of veggies in the fridge already. 
that I need to eat so I didn't buy too much this time around. Got some red delicious apples and some pork and vegetable dumplings. Um, I ran out of space on the table because there's a million things on there right now. But I saw this and it looks so delicious. Maybe because I was really hungry so I got two of those. So it's the cherry tomato and arugula flatbread. It's supposed to be healthy so we'll see. I also got some patties the mild because i can't eat spice for those like you know cheat days the meatball and mozzarella crostinis and also i came really nostalgic for passing by this so I had to get some pizza pops and yeah that's pretty much all i got could barely carry it all so couldn't buy anything more man i wish i'd filmed this because i poked the straw through my bubble tea and it made the most satisfying pop sound i don't know if there's any other bubble tea addicts out there where it's just that sweet sound of the bubble tea straw piercing through the lid it went like oh, like it just hits the spot i don't know mm, so so good i think i have a problem <laughs> admitting it out there to the world anyways i got the honeydew milk tea with rose tapioca i know it's the weirdest combination but for whatever reason it just works and it tastes so good i think i'm gonna have that with my cupcake um i haven't had dinner yet so i probably should be eating that i don't even know what i'm gonna be eating tonight probably maybe i should make the flatbread it's kind of calling out to me so let's go do that so pizza's now in the oven. Now we wait. Anyone ever think about if only life had theme songs and music playing to whatever moves going on? So right now, I could definitely use the Jeopardy theme song going, you know, do 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 do. I am hungry. And I can't wait for this to be done. <laughs> At least I have my bubble tea in the meantime to satisfy some of my hunger. Mm -mm. So good. Oh no, my pizza's burning. <laughs> Gotta turn that down. I got new, uh, what are these called? kitchen towels but I haven't washed them and put them out yet so yeah don't look at these they're ugly mm. pizza's done I definitely think I left in there a little too long it's a little bit burnt but that's okay I'll still eat it regardless I'm gonna quickly eat that and I'll catch you guys in a bit so I finished the whole entire pizza by myself because I was that hungry well it wasn't that big to begin with but it was delicious definitely 10 out of 10 well 10 out of 10 is quite a big rating. Maybe like 8 out of 10, but it was delicious nonetheless. Definitely would recommend. It was really good, especially given that it's a flatbread and it's a frozen flatbread. So if you guys see it in stores, try it out. I think I'm probably going to call it a night. Obviously, I'm not going to go to bed right now, but I went to get a head start on editing. Um, I know I didn't do too much today. It's my first day. I need to make sure I have enough content for the rest of the month. So watch out for future vlogs while I'm organizing, cleaning, and doing all that jazz. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and thanks for watching.